Die erste Reaktion war, wie bei vielen Leuten, glaube ich, dass ich es einfach nicht geglaubt habe. Und ähm, dann, wenn man es dann realisiert, dass es wirklich passiert ist, beziehungsweise dass es wahr ist, dann ja, bricht man natürlich erstmal irgendwo zusammen. Ich glaube, das geht ganz vielen Leuten gerade so. Und versuchte dem zu verarbeiten. You know, he, he presented this, this single, Heroes, his first track on his friend Mark Boland's TV show. In, in, and, and it was like, I saw this TV show, I, came, I, I, was, like, I, I was at home watching this and I just couldn't believe this, what is this new Davy Brack song, it sounded completely different to anything else. And, and the actual, you know, the period of like Davy Barry living here, working here, and making three albums, set a, set a kind of precedent for other artists, you know, it meant something to come to Berlin and have to, came to Berlin to have your Berlin period, you know, it meant something. He got to Berlin and saw it was different because there were, it was full of artists and full of transvestites and full of like weird people who didn't fit into normal society. And, he, and, and, and I think he, he really enjoyed he really enjoyed his time here. It was really important for him because he could be himself. He could find himself. He, he, David Bowie in Berlin was it was like. A, a, a journey of self-discovery. You know, he came, he came into the city and and found out that he could just go shopping just very very normally, and no one would ask him for an autograph. You know, he couldn't do that in L London. He couldn't do that in Los Angeles. You know, there's still so many people out there who haven't bought his back catalogue. We, today we have sold so much of his, old, of his old records, his old CDs. I think people are going to carry on buying them. I guess he's left such an amazing legacy, such an amazing collection of music from those four decades. Not all of it great, but all of it interesting. And I guess his new album is going to rank up there with one of his best eventually. You know, I think people will look back and see, it might not be quite as groundbreaking as Ziggy or Low, but it's still a great album to end with. I think he has come up with a, a cracking album to finish off with. everything <laughs> buying uh, back catalog buying the new one we've just sold out the new one but plenty more back in tomorrow <laughs>
most things are still available, or if they're not available, they will become available very soon. There are certain rarities that will go up in value. I guess, you know, the German version of Heroes, that's always been a very collectible little single, and that will go up in value. Certain things will, and the, he's got a new, his new album comes out in vinyl, in clear vinyl in uh, America via somewhere, and also via his website. That will go up in value. That will be very collectible. The singles he did, or the album, I think he did a coloured vinyl album for the for the exhibition at the V&A. I mean, that's bound to go up in value. But his general back catalogue, no. No, I don't think it will go up in value. <laughs> Completely, songwriting, um, lyrics, everything, the performance, everything, everything. <laughs>